What's up boys and girls, welcome back to Inua, a story in ice and time. Uh, we just uh, concluded on the last uh, episode that the crew had a mutiny going on because the, the lieutenant, the officer on board of the ship didn't want to uh, go out there and venture into the unknown to see if they could... Ooh, what's going on here? Was it? Does it go automatically? Oh, that's fine. Nanooluk foresaw tomorrow through the stories based on the patterns of nature. Yeah, so I was saying the officer wanted to stay in the ship that was shipwrecked in the ice in Antarctica and the crew was like, man, we gotta go out there get some help, you know? And the officer was like, nope, I'm going mad. I'm gonna get you all uh, to stay with me here and we're all gonna die together in this freezing boat. Yeah, basically. Floating in the cold ocean, Nanoroluk told its imagination to Kilak, the sky. Kilak listened in silence as they both stared far across distance and time. Very wise polar bear can see into the future. You heard me right, David. Mutiny. Well, I gotta hand it to you, kid. This is big. The Franklin Expedition is one of Canada's founding myths. But this, this could change everything we know about those last days on board the Terror. You have to keep snooping around, Dana. The, the story depends on it. Yeah, about that. Gervais kind of gave me the old heave-ho. I'm heading back to shore now. What? Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're kidding me, right? Oh, you can't give up on a scoop like that. You, you're gonna have to... Oh, you can't give up on a scoop like that. You, you're gonna have to... Oh, the dialogue's messed up. Hold on. Bad day? That would be an understatement. My editor is expecting Pulitzer-winning material, but I think I just burned my only contact. On top of that, I'm freezing cold and this boat ride is making me want to hurl. Sounds like you got things pretty rough. You can say that again. Oh, you call those problems. Think, think, Taina. I have to find a way to save this article, whatever the cost. Okay, take it easy. Breathe. That's better. Now, all you have to do, come up with an idea so good that it single-handedly saves your article and your career. Piece of cake. Alright, so we can uh, have a look around the boat here as well. What's in there? Nothing. Alright. Uh, in the box. Ooh. What's in the box? What's in the box? <clears throat> a sealed box. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about this, Sammy? No one touches the crates. Alan was clear about that. He's clearly suspicious of this journalist. That would usually make her okay in my books. But I don't know. Something about her. Hmm, not sure about his captain's orders. Okay. Wait, are those? They're from the archaeological ship. I need to find out what's in them. Um, hey, could I take a look at what's in there? I'll be quick. Scout's honor. Huh? No way. What? Seriously? How much damage could one girl do? You could cost me my job. That's enough damage for you? I wouldn't be able to afford uh, food for my family. They were all starved, we would have to re resort to eating ice every day. Uh, my last shred of hope could be in those boxes. I need to convince this guy to let me see what's inside. Hmm, how do I put this? Look, I have some money my editor set aside for... That's flattering, miss, but my uh, charms are not for sale. <laughs> Nicely put, Sammy. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, I know exactly what you meant, but you can't buy me off. Although, seeing you squirm is kind of priceless. This guy's got some sass levels off the, through the roof. Nice one, Taina. Guess I'll have to find something else. Alright, let's have a look around the boat, shall we? What's going on here? Maybe he'd respond well to a moment in the limelight. Hey, you know the Discoverer, right? The magazine I work for? It's one of the biggest publications in the country. Circulation over 500,000. You don't say? When this article hits the stands, it's gonna make waves. How would you like a chance to ride them? I'm not sure I follow. 
Listen, kids. I'm gonna put your name down into the dirt. You'll never ride a boat again. I'm saying, why should your vase get all the credit? How about this? The unsung heroes of archaeological research. Tell your side of the story. We can even get a nice shot of you in there, too. Oh, yeah? My mother would be over the moon. Really? Well, in that case, all I'd need is... If she wasn't half blind from diabetes... <laughs> nice. <laughs> but hey, maybe I could read it to her on a three-hour snowmobile ride to the nearest hospital. There you go, kids. Sorry, hotshot. Can't say I care about fame. Besides, who cares what people like me have to say? What do you mean? You see many Inuit on the news? You have many Inuit interviews lined up for your piece? Well, I, uh... Yeah, I thought not. I know at least three elders who'd heard about the great European ships caught in the ice. They knew exactly where the Erebus was, but nobody listened. Ah, oh, that's a lesson right there. Guys like Gervais would rather poke around for decades than ask for help. They would have found the terror a long time ago if they had taken their heads out of their asses. I mean, that seems a bit... uh... implausible. Because uh, if someone goes into an area to search about something, obviously the first thing you do is talk to the local, right? I mean, uh, that's just seem like a smart move, I don't know. But we'll take his word for it. Uh, how much else can I convince this guy? If I want this guy to let me snoop around, I have to convince him that he has something to gain too. Maybe there's something to what he said about the Inuit. I might have an opening there. You know, you and I are actually on the same side. The truth. Oh yeah? Me and the big shot journalist? Why do you think Alan threw me off the boat? It's because I was getting too close to the truth. Hmm... Okay. I'm serious. I want the world to know what really happened to the Franklin Expedition. Not some colonial myth. I want the truth. The ugly truth. And I don't care who I piss off to get there. If the inner would have a place in history, I can help you reclaim it. Jeez, who the hell does she think she is? So what do you say? You know, thinking about it. Let's do it, Sammy, come on. My snowmobile could do with some repairs. If your offer from before is still good, and you promise to stop talking about <laughs> the truth for the rest of the ride back. All we have is the truth, kid. I'll let you open one box. I only see one box needs opening, so perfect deal. For real? One box. You won't regret it. Sammy, right? Cash only. No checks, okay? <laughs> I'll give you five bucks, kids. That's the best I can do. Alright, time to see what's in those boxes. Some planks of wood. With some weird symbols on it. Do I have to clean this, or... What's going on here? Where can I click? What? Can't rotate it. Alright. Guess we've seen... Ah, okay. Alright. The blanks. Um, right. Let's analyze these psychologically. A bunch of old planks. I'm not going to save my article with a few bits of old wood. There has to be more to this. Oh. Are we going back in time? Let's go. Come on, lads. Keep moving. Unless you want to freeze on the spot. Commander, can I ask you a question? You promised to stop with all this commander nonsense. Ask away. I see, it's just... I was wondering... How did you know that the Inuit were coming? It's not easy to explain, William. Suluk... Appeared to me in a dream. I knew he'd come to help us. Psh, poppycock. What's to say these savages won't eat us in our sleep? God damn it, why do you have to assume... <laughs> oh, it's the 18th century. Okay, never mind that. 19th, sorry. <laughs> Damn, I forgot this one knows some English. I wonder where he picked that. Up. Don't worry. With our supplies and Kumak's hunting skills, we don't need to eat each other to survive. We must learn how to live alongside one another. Who knows, Henry? You may come to appreciate our new companions. You appreciate them all you like, sir. I choose to remain on guard till I'm back in England. They're all under a lot of pressure, but we can't go on that way, or things could turn sour. What can I do to make them appreciate each other? That's not something you can just command. Bell! Oh, the HMS Terror, they took the bell. Why? <laughs> 1949. I guess to tell the story. Bell from the Terror, okay. 
something in the mast. Wait. There we go. Winds. Very important. Okay, let's keep that lit. Don't want any seals to jump out at us. Alright, uh, let's talk to Sulak here. When known this character. Like their clothes. Very warm. At least they look. This object comes from the Palunat's boats. Had they remained on that ship, all of them would be dead by now. Simon Woodruff included. I feel your presence in the wind and snow, but I am not certain of where this path will take us. Is that the uh, mother bear in the sky? Probably. Uh, let's get the opinion of some other Eskimo. Uh, sorry, Inuit. Sorry. At what? Not sure if that Inuits and Eskimos are the same thing. I'm not. I, I have no idea. I don't want to be rude, but anyways. To me, the wind is both an enemy and a friend. It is cold and restless, but it brings the songs of nature to my ears. The white people's boats are full of strange objects. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I, I appreciate that they kept the original language in it. I'm not even sure... Oh, where is this guy? Oh, wh wait. Where is this... Kumak? This looks like the ship crew. There's only two Eskimos. Uh, Inuits here. Uh, I wonder what... What is the name of their language? I'm gonna Google that later. I wonder if the... Uh, Kalunat... Uh, use it for their rituals. What even is this language? Show some respect. Respect? <laughs> Are they obviously, obviously very racist, all of them? Let me see what this guy thinks. Uh, Josephus. What do you think of the language? I hope they're not plotting against us in their strange tongue. Okay. About this wind, though. Maybe hell isn't fire and brimstone. Maybe it's like this, cold and white as far as the eye can see. Perhaps I'm already dead? Gah, listen to me, I sound as miserable as old Henry. A bell. Henry will be thrilled. Probably reminds him of his dear church. Alright, uh, let's see, you. Obviously the racist one in the bunch. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm beginning to like their language. Oh, wait! <laughs> the sounds are unusual, but they resonate with me somehow. Maybe you were in the past life, you were Inuit, dude, never know. I had to decide what might be of value aboard the Terror. Wish I'd picked something lighter. The bell seems to fascinate the Inuit though, especially the hunter, Kumak. I think his name is. My god, this wind! I've seen the heavy weather at sea, but here is different. It whips across the ice flow, lashing us with shards of hail. Are we ever going to get out of this white hell? I don't know, dude. Pro oh, I hope so. Alright, where is this guy? Tell you about the language. So look. If we are to survive, all of us, we need to communicate with the Kalunats. Alright, <laughs> 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 Alright, so, um, the captain, let's go, William knows a few words in the in, Inuk Titut, there we go, that's a, but not much, Inuk Titut, but not much, it is a great boon that Suluk speaks English, he told me that a sailor taught him, I find that hard to believe, but I don't have a better explanation, he's greatly respected as a shaman among the Inuit, perhaps I should be wary of him, what am I saying, quite the opposite, we need to start trusting each other, all those things we took from the terror, it's like we can't let, quite let go of our old lives. The past weighs us down like an anchor. We must break free from it if we wish to move forward. I engraved my name on the terror's hull. I hope that's the last time I write it. The Simon Woodruff, who left the ports of Greenheath four years ago is gone. I want to become someone else. I have to. The survival of our group depends on it. Since we started, we've had a wind at her back. Pure luck, even though it freezes us to the bone. Perhaps it pushes us onwards as we journey through this unknown land. Alright. Uh, who needs some uh, motivation here? I think this guy. 
William Lockett, what do you think of the language? I learned a few words from the Inuits I met in Greenlands all those years ago. Thanks to what they taught me, I can almost have a proper conversation with Kumut and Atwat. Oh, there we go. Of course, if they speak too fast, I'm completely lost. Maybe he can teach the others. I wonder what Ruben was thinking in taking this off the Terra. The metal could be valuable for trading, but it doesn't make dragging the boats any easier. Yeah, that must be heavy as hell. Uh, here we go. Can you speak English? If Suluk wants us to learn the uh, Kalunat's language, there must be a reason for it. Yeah, not necessarily. If God wanted us to communicate with these savages, we would share a common tongue. It's all there in the Bible. Oh God. Therefore, in the name of it called by Babel, Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from then did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all earth. Okay. How did we end up burdened with this whole thing? The wind makes this blasted toothache worse with every gust. I think one of my molars cracked from the cold. The slightest draft feels like a thousand needles. William, please! Surely you have something to ease this pain. Sorry, old boy. There wasn't much left in the infirmary on board. Alright. Uh, what else we got? Just a wind here? This wind is hell. Cold. Merciless hell. I would give anything from the war for the warmth of a roaring fireplace. Even a campfire would suffice. Alright, hold up. We don't have any more... I have to click the wind again? Or... Wait, how do I... Oh, hold up. Uh, Tanya remembers the symbol. Okay. Uh, where is the symbol currently? Anyways. Oh, I... I forgot to rotate. That's where the two guys are here. Okay. Natar, what do you say about the language? Us? Learning the language of the Kalunat? I do not see what goods that will bring. But if that's our... Anger cook... Uh, saw in, in his trance... We should do as he says. That's probably the word for a shaman or something. Anga cook. Right, let me see what the other guy has to say about language. Suluk thinks it is helpful to learn the language of the Kalunat. I th I can try. If I can imitate a caribou and a polar fox, why not a Kalunak? Right, let me see what else is there. Oh, some planks. A woods. Okay. Meats. Oh, all right. They're old England's. Uh, we've got some meats. Or. Uh, you want to share, maybe? I don't know. Food will be hard to come by out here. We have our canned foods. The Inuit have their dried meat. Let's hope that's enough to see us through. Um, did I speak to you about the language? Yeah, or, no. yeah, I did. I had prepared dried caribou for a few men, but our group has grown since the Kalunak. Kalunat. We're going to have to hunt. We have to keep our food if we want to survive. Uh, this guy doesn't want to be that friendly either. Uh, do you want to share a food? Ha! The face William Lockett made when he tasted the dried caribou. I wonder what he thought of it. Oh? Okay. Uh, William Lockett, where is he at? Is this the guy? Yeah. What do you think of the beans? Ta, the woman. At what? He had me taste some of that dried caribou meat and, well, it wasn't half bad actually. Better than our thinned meat anyway. I'd like to get to know them better, especially if we are to survive together. We'll get there, I'm sure of it. Oh, I got a piece of the puzzle, okay. Let's see what else is there. I'm glad I don't have to pull these boats full of things I don't. I have no use for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think of pushing all these crap? This strange metal object things when you hit it, Reuben Campbell showed me. I feel like he's willing to get to know us, and the opposite is true too. And with mutual trust, we might reach our objective, whatever that is. Okay, seems like we... Oh, okay. Two pieces of the puzzle. Trust! Oh, cute. <laughs> Let me see what you have to say about trust. No, no. Ah, uh, you wanted to get to know them as well, yeah. 
the, thanks to the Inuits, I feel as if our chances of survival have soared. I'm beginning to enjoy their company too, even if I can't understand most of what they say. Makes a change for miserable old sailors, anyway. Ah, it sounds nice. This dried meat reminds me of my father's chewing tobacco. I can't imagine it tastes much better. William Lockett, where is your trust? Actually, let me see from this guy. He wasn't very trust worthy. I hate that we're being led around by these godless Eskimo. We've been through so much, freezing half to death, surviving off scraps, even killing one of our own, all for what? May the Lord grant Woodruff the strength to guide us. At least he's a good Christian. Uh, what do you think of the meat? Probably hates it. I can't believe the things the savage hates eat. Then again, they say John Franklin ate his own shoes to survive in these parts. God rest his souls. Ha! Probably not the right time for that one. Alright, let's get the trust going on here. I feel we can become closer to the Inuit. If we can learn to respect each other, we could achieve great things together. Like survive. Surviving out here. So look, shaman of the tribe. Simon trusts me to guide him on our lands. I feel connected to him. But he didn't recognize the symbol I carved on the terror's hull. Not yet. Perhaps it was too soon. Okay, we have an engraved symbol. Uh, not sure. I don't think we need to do anything here. A tiny room. So look, explains the symbol. Ah, we have to get all these going on, I think. Tanya finds what's in the box. Uh, Inuit and the cells come to understand each other. Okay, uh, how do we do that? Maybe through the engraved symbol? Hold up. Have you thought about this? But now that I think about it... So look, tell me. You carved a symbol on the hull of the terror alongside us. What was it? That was meant for you, Simon. It was? I feel like I've seen it before. In a dream, maybe. But that's not possible. Cross period tokens travel through time. You may use them in the future or in the past. Okay, cool. That is possible. Are you certain? Well, I... I've never experienced anything like it. What do you think it means? It means you must trust me. That I'm your guide on this journey. My guide? But to where? To civilization? I cannot answer that, Simon. But know this. You are not the first to see this symbol, nor you will be the last. He speaks very well. Uh, what's going on here? Oh. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, they still... Oh, wait! Ah, now we just have to get this one. Okay, I thought it was the reverse. They go... They fade out if we discover them. Okay. So let's go back. Let's have her think about the uh, broken circle thing. Wait, that symbol. Something bothering you? Oh, it's nothing. Probably just a coincidence. I love coincidences. Care to share? Well, okay. Follow the line I'm making with my finger. Right here. It might sound crazy, but I think I've seen this before. I don't know, maybe I dreamed it? You dreamt it? I don't know. I've been having these weird dreams lately. Maybe it's all the coffee I drink. Last night, there was this giant bear and... Why are you asking me this? I have something that might interest you. For my article? For your article, and not for your article. It might interest you either way. But you have to be prepared to listen. That's why I'm here, Sammy. I told you. Oh, you've told me plenty. But I'm not sure how much you listen. <laughs> We're arriving at the port. You ever been on a quad before? Alright, I think that was it. Oh. Uh, oh, look at the, uh, the reflection here. The guys on the boat. That's pretty cool. So, do we just go off into the sunsets? Let's continue. Most animals kill only in proportion to their needs. Others kill out of fear. But this fear causes an illness 
that visitors were not addressed. Nanoruluk understood that the only cure was to make the wrong right. What does that mean, I wonder? Well, this is the place. I'm gonna start a fire so we don't freeze to death out here. What are we doing here, Sammy? Hope the ride wasn't too bumpy. I promise I will never complain about Montreal public transport again. Is it just so you can tell me a story or there a purpose to this place? See it like a Stone Age type of deal going on here? Come on, it wasn't that bad. Mmm. Okay, maybe it was that bad. Sammy, you gotta put some emotions into your words, man. Sound very so why do you bored want to show all the me time. This place? What's so special about it? Remember that symbol you showed me from the terror? I've heard elders talk about seeing something similar at this Inuksuk. Inuksuk. Not exactly what I'd call a solid lead, but since I can't get back on the research vessel, it'll have to do. Okay, I guess I can take a look around. Inuksuk, okay, got that. Going for us, yeah. What else is around? Clicking on all the rocks, fireplace. Nothing much there. Alright. Let's uh, think about this for a second. Why would the Inuit build the Inukshuk here, out in the middle of nowhere? Sammy, do you know what this Inukshuk means? Not sure really, but whatever it is, it's not a good omen. Why do you say that? What makes you say that? <laughs> for the Inuit people, human-shaped Inukshuk sometimes act as a warning. Someone may have died here, or they were murdered. Now their spirit is haunting this place. Oh, is this the final resting place of the sailors? Great. Out in the middle of nowhere, with a guy who believes in ghosts. Some lead this is. Uh, it does have a sort of a human shape to it, but... If I remember correctly, there was that letter with the symbol the elders told me about. Didn't want to show it to that jerk Alan, but her. I should trust Nuna and show it to her. Hey, look. What have you got there? I found something between the stones of this Inuksuk. Some kind of tin cylinder. It's got a note inside written in English. Oh. They left, one, uh, they left a message in one of the tin cans or something. I came all this way, might as well hear him out. Well, are you gonna show me this letter, or are we just gonna stand around till we freeze to death? Sure, take a look. See that symbol? Looks kind of like the one from the boat, right? Yes, it does. Let's see, June 14, 1849. Left HMS ship Terror 22... <clears throat> 22nd of April, having be been beset since September 1846. Maids, maids our way south, our way south, harsh conditions, oh he's writing terribly because of the cold, man becoming weaker by day, headaches, no gain, cursed, Simon Woodruff draws the symbol out. And this symbol is the same one from the Hall of the Terror, the one I saw in my dream. Who is this Simon Woodruff guy? If he was an officer on the Franklin expedition, I would have seen his name before. He sure didn't spell like an officer. My copy editor would have a field day with this. This says something about a curse. Those poor saps, they must have been losing their minds. But there has to be a logical explanation for all this. And if I was the one to crack it, it could make my career. What were they going through? What were they thinking when they wrote this? Let's find out, shall we? Commander? One moment, William. Let me finish my message. And enough with this commander nonsense. Yeah. What is it? Sir, this place is exposed. And with this blizzard coming, shouldn't we think about leaving soon? Indeed we should. The problem is Suluk. His condition has deteriorated, and he's too weak to walk. Oh no, I thought you'd be used to long strolls around the Arctic Circle. Do not worry about me, Sam. My journey goes more far than here. I hope so, Sir Look, because I... Sir Look? Damn. He's fallen unconscious. William, quickly. There's something wrong. 
I'll do my best, Commander, but the Inuit have been showing signs of weakness for some time now. We all have. But this is different. It's not just exhaustion, it's... Well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> some doctor you are. I never claimed to be a doctor, you raggedy arse. Enough bickering. There has to be a rational explanation. If there is, we may not have time to look for it. We're freezing out here. We must find some way to help the Inuit. They're counting on us. Reuben, see if there's anything we can do for them. Aye, sir. Alright, let's see what we got around here. Got the wind again. Inukshuk. Uh, let's have a wander about. Oh, where is that? Must be by the side of it here. Okay. Oh, I can even go further. Okay. Oh, we brought the cannons as well? Why? That's weird. I've got some food here. Soup gra uh, veal soup gravy, okay. Oh, that's a piece of the puzzle. Alright. Uh, hold up. Piling rocks. Is that the greatest achievement they're capable of? They should see our great cathedrals. They wouldn't believe their eyes. Alright. Um, let's see what else is in there. Binoculars. Piece of the puzzle. Some guns as well. There we go. Equipment. Uh... These things are as useless as they are heavy, and their food is awful. If our Anga cook dies, there is uh, Inukshuk. Sometimes it's spelled with an H, sometimes it's not. I'm not sure what the word is here. Maybe it depends on how you uh, address it, I don't know. We'll be used to warn all the Inuit who pass through here. <laughs> Tarnik, be a soul. Curse. At what? What do you think of the Inukshuk? Tarad, us build this Inukshuk. Seems to believe this will be Suluk's final resting place. I hope he's mistaken. Suluk is a powerful Angukuk. His uh, illness is a bad sign. Even Kumak is sick. He can barely hunt. Usually nothing affects him. Are we being poisoned? By the Kalunat? Do they want to kill us? Concerned, Atuat? I am, Wilia. I can hardly see Suluk's Hamanik. Hamanik. His. Kalmanik? Hamanik means Hamanik. light. I can feel his light weakening. I'm worried about him. Yeah, what. What do you think of the curse, mate? Woodruff? We have to face facts. We can't rouse Suluk, there's little we can do for him. We need to find out what's wrong with him, and fast. Maybe we can use some more of equipment? Maybe we should give him some Inuits, some of our possessions to help them if we part ways? They're weakened by this illness, but we can... can we afford to be generous? I want to help them, but I don't know how. I would see what the men think. However, right, what the Inushuk? What do you think? This structure is foreboding, but at least it can be seen from afar. It could help to attract the attention of a rescue mission. Wishful thinking. Who the hell would be out here rescuing people? <laughs> Just saying. Maybe some more Inuits, but... Uh, Willem, can you do something about the curse? This poor fellow doesn't look so well at all. What do you think, Willem? You don't buy this talk of curses, do you? I'm no doctor, Commander. I said enough with the Commander stuff. I'm no Commander, Willem. But we're making do as best as we can. Come. Speak your mind. I've spent enough time with doctors to see how the human body can confound men of science. But in the end, there's always an explanation for everything. Any thoughts? Scurvy, botulism, typhoid, maybe. For now, I have no idea what the disease is. Those medical books we brought from the ship's library could shed some light on the matter. Alright, some medical books, okay. Alright, uh, we are going to take a quick break right here. So, what do we need to do? Uh... We'll, c we'll come back to this on the next episode. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!